tells some to check whether these two lines are whether these given lines are parallel or perpendicular parallel or perpendicular so take the first subdivision to check parallel first subdivision solution first subdivision you know the formula for parallel ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 c1 is equal to 0 ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0 what are the constant changes what are the constant differences so like this one x by 3 cross multiply first like x by 3 plus y by 4 is plus 1 by 7 is equal to 0 and second one 2x by 3 plus y by 2 Plus one by ten is equal to zero. So the constant on this side, the x by three plus y by four is minus one by seven. Cross multiply. Four into x is four x. Three into y is three y. Three four is twelve. Is minus one by seven. Let like twelve on this side. Four x plus three y is minus twelve by seven. Minus four by seven. The same. Let like one by ten on this side. Two x by three. Plus y by two is equal to minus one by ten. The two move this side. Two two sir four x, four x. Three two sir three into y is three y. Three two sir six is equal to minus one by ten. The six move this side. Four x plus three y is equal to minus six by ten. Check it. You see four x three y, four x three y. A x plus b y, a x plus y. We need to solve the equation of x and equation of y. What is slope? Slope formula y is equal to minus cosine of x is four, cosine of y is three. This is m one. Check here m two. M two is equal to minus cosine of x is y, cosine of x is four, cosine of y is three. M one is equal to m two. Since m one is equal to m two, therefore two lines are parallel. Two lines are parallel. Check. Take the second subdivision. Solution for second subdivision. First, you know the formula. Second solution: if it is ax plus by plus c1 equal to zero, what do I want to do? I want to put the x. I want to put y. And plus, I need to put minus. This a goes here. This b moves here. Plus c2 is equal to zero. This is the perpendicular condition. But another condition: m1 and m2 is equal to minus one. That is the condition. First, check the slope for this one. And m1 is equal to what is coefficient of x? Five. Coefficient of y is twenty-three. So I need to put minus because formula is minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y for this one. What is m2? M2 is equal to minus. What is coefficient of x? 23. What is coefficient of y? Minus 5. So minus 5 equals m2 is equal to 23 by 5. You know condition for perpendicular. Condition for perpendicular. In previous exercise we have studied m1, m2 is equal to minus 1. Taking LHS. M1 into M2 minus 5 into 2 by 3, 23. Sorry, minus 5 into 23, 23 by 5. Answer is 23. Answer is 5. Answer is minus 1 is equal to RHS. Therefore, two lines are perpendicular. That's all.